Hey guys, Karate Your Mom here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a pretty cool bar. It's full functioning. Uh, you can actually everything that's posted on the wall back there, steak, uh, both soups, water, and milk uh, from clicking buttons. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking bar. You can put it in your survival house if you want to look for something to build. It's, uh, it's a pretty basic, really easy redstone, um, depending on how big you, you're going to make it. But uh, so yeah, let me show you how it, how it looks on the inside. All right, so pretty much just got a couple old little chairs. Uh, cry to your dad actually showed me how to make these. I did not know how to make these chairs. All oh, this is just a stair and uh, two signs. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking chair. I didn't know how to make that. I made a little couch over here. Um, let me show you. Oh, here's some tables. Um, actually, that's just a pressure plate and uh, a fence post. And uh, yeah, so got some droppers up here. And whenever you want something from wherever the wall is, you just come up, click the button, and it falls right to you. And then you can drink it. Yeah, so there's your milk. You can come up and hit the button for that. There's your water. You can drink, oops, you can drink your water. Ah, oh, shoot. That ain't good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. The whole thing is built on half slabs. Uh, at the top part of the block, not the bottom part. Um, yeah, here's your suit. All the buttons. Oh, it erased all my buttons off of here. Ain't that something? That sucks. I have to put that back in there. Uh, your steak shoots out of the little fridge here. And you can eat your steak. Uh, to reload the steak, I just put a little pressure plate over here. Opens the door. And you can... Load it back up. You got a little sink. Uh, that's a tripwire hook that is actually looks better than the uh, traditional lever. If you use a tripwire hook, it actually looks more like a faucet, I think. Uh, here's where you can store all your stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's it. All right, so let me show you how the, the wiring goes here. Um, it's all in half slabs. Under each one of the buttons, where where the buttons were, um, all right. So underneath the one, each one of the buttons is the redstone. So yeah. So if you do it on half slabs, you got to come down underneath the half slabs two blocks because you know naturally you can't run redstone and block off the top. But it's just a straight shot back out to the back of the building. Which I'll show you now. Um, and naturally, you would close this off. I left this all open because so I can show you easier. Uh, yeah, so straight back underneath, it comes up and uh, goes. That's to the stake right there. Just simple redstone. Uh, naturally, you can only you have to use a repeater to extend the current for the redstone. But yeah, so it pretty much just comes straight back and comes up the back and uh, goes up to the dropper. Um, it's pretty basic stuff. It's really easy. If You can be a novice and like a very true beginner in redstone and make them figure this out. If you have any issues with it, let me know and I'll help you out. So let's just uh, show you how to kind of, you know, kind of build it. Alright, so uh, naturally these are just stairs with that, uh, with the sign. Uh, the bar is just, like I said, all on half slabs. The half slab comes straight up and powers the block. And then when you push the button, it turns the redstone on and it drops out of the ceiling. So, so yeah, so it's, I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. I think it looks pretty cool. You don't have to use the same designs and stuff naturally, but... I like the little checkered pattern on the ground. Um, you know, these, I'm sure you can figure that out. It's just a block behind it. That's why this is a double wide wall. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. When you lay the door on, these are just uh, dispensers. When you lay the door on the dispenser, um, you gotta make sure lay the door 
you have to lay it down like this so that way it opens the right way. You can put a double, you can put a double fridge here actually. And if you do the same thing, put your door down like this, they will open this way, that way. So that way you can see all four of the uh, dispensers. But yeah, I mean it's a pretty cool looking bar, you guys. It's a full functioning bar, that's what I like about it. It's because uh, a lot of people make the bars and stuff, but they don't add the little touch of having to be able to use the function of the redstone and the droppers and stuff to actually use your food. And then just to stock it back up, all you have to do is just fill your milk back up from the cows. You can actually have like a little one cow station in the back with a real door on it. Put a cow back here in a fenced off area and then you can just keep refilling up your cows so that way if you guys you have your buddies come over or whatever and you're showing it off and you guys are hungry you don't have to eat your steak that you have you just come up here and drink some milk or you know get some cooked steak here um, naturally you want to put some furnaces in here so that way you can cook all your steak and then load your fridge but uh yeah so that's pretty much it um, I can show you how to build the stairs real quick I mean uh, the chair that Proud your dad showed me. Um, where is there? They are. Yeah. So it's just stair. Sign, sign. Done deal. It's a nice looking chair. I don't know who came up with it, but it, it works pretty good. <laughs> it, it it definitely works. So yeah. So. If you have any issues with any of the redstone, I'm pretty good at redstone and trying to figure it out and how to make things work. If you guys have any issues with any type of redstone, just let me know and then I can help you out and or even pop into your world if you play on Xbox One or, or even on PC because I play on PC too. But uh, yeah, so just let me know. Thanks guys. Like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it.